Hi, so I thought I was thinking today about how I want to teach my children, how I want to um, give them values and morals and what my approach is going to be as a homeschooler. And I'm super excited about this. It's also, of course, intimidating. Um, you know, the fear of not knowing if they're really learning, but then it's like you do things and their little light bulbs go off and you know that you're definitely teaching them in some way or form. And so my three-year-old had a funny moment. <laughs> um, he's so silly. So we've been doing, we do a lot of un, like child-led learning and, um, or maybe you would hear it as like proactive play. So mindfully, you know, being mindful when you're playing and talking and taking the every opportunity to just be a teachable moment you know so when he and Ava want to just so Hunter and Ava want to just like dig in the dirt and then you talk about that you talk about the soil and how it helps the earth and um, he's so curious about the plants and so is she and so we'll talk about like how does the worms help the garden and what happens when you plant a seed and what do they need so even though they're playing and exploring and digging and filling the dirt and using their senses, they are learning so much things. So one of the things, getting back to my story, is I do take the opportunity when we do an art project or anything with paper, um, we write your name on it. And um, so I help him learn how to hold the pencil. We talk about that, like how do you own the principle so you can write the letters correctly. And I always tell him that letters, both of them, that letters make words and words tell stories. And um, so he's been doing his name every single time with my help. And I wasn't sure if he was really grasping the letters. Well, it's lunchtime and he wants three hot dogs. I'm like, three hot dogs? Seriously, kid? <laughs> you know, where are you going to put that? And he's like, I just, I just need three hot dogs, mom. And I'm thinking, you know, I'm just going to go with it and see what he is thinking in his head. So he pulls out the three hot dogs and he doesn't actually want to eat three hot dogs. He just wants to show me that with the three hot dogs, he can make the letter H. And I'm like, ding, ding, ding. See, all our practice just by writing your name to make sure that everybody knows that that's your art um, or your story or your picture has taught him that this is the letter H. And then he also will tell me like this, you know, this word has my first letter in it too or this letter is in my name also and he'll match them and see you know I know that some people struggle with the child-led learning but they will really run with it and it, you know the other a week ago um, maybe it's been two now I mean it's been kind of crazy with everything going on so um, it could have been a week or two ago, <laughs> but, um, he was very interested on, you know, what is that? Sh what is that on the ground? Oh, it's your shadow. What's a shadow? So then we talked about it, but I didn't stop there. You know, he was interested and that's what you have to do when it comes to child-led learning is you have to run with it. And so since he was super interested in his shadow, we got books on shadows. We talked about how does the shadow take place like and why is it there and what happens when you go into the shade what happens when you go in the sun and we drew our shadows and it was fun and that's the thing it's like with childhood learning you can really run with their interests and they will stay in that subject far longer than anyone else and now I'm not saying with that that you should skip over things that don't interest them because you know even if it's important you somehow have to incorporate it eventually of course you know but I definitely think that I know you love my crazy backyard <laughs> definitely you know fun times <laughs> but um no you definitely have to just run with their interests especially early on and then I think even older I remember um, getting my teaching degree and as far as reading goes um, she definitely told me my mentor was like not just me but everybody in the classroom that we get stuck on the fact that children even teenagers are supposed to read a certain type of material and really it shouldn't matter they should be able to read any material 
So whether they want to read a car magazine or a gardening magazine or a comic book or a chapter book or a novel, like it was a big, huge novel, let them do it. Whatever they desire to pick up, that's what they should do. So it will it will keep their spark going, you know? That's what keeps them engaged and learning it. And through reading, you're definitely gaining knowledge. We know this, you're gonna see how the structure of a sentence work, how grammar works, um, why there's exclamation marks, why there's questions, why there's periods, that at the beginning there's a capital. I mean, you're gonna see all that and you're gonna be observing that as you read. You're gonna learn so much. And so, you know, my whole point coming on here is that as a homeschooler, and if you're looking into homeschooling and you feel intimidated or unsure of how to do, you know, the play led or the, like I like to call it, just the child led learning. Um, unschooling is another name. You know, it's not, you know, people get, it's like a negative thing, but it's not, it's not a negative thing at all. You know, unschooling is basically just means that you're not doing it the traditional way. They're still learning. They're still engaging. It's just not the traditional way. And um, I started a page, actually, with different craft ideas and things that they're doing. And I put my thoughts on there of, like, how they are learning different things through different everyday activities. And, of course, kids love to help. So, no, I will definitely take the extra moment um patience to go through a cooking or cleaning and then we talk about things you know like how does that actually clean something you know what is the chemicals used or even if you don't use chemicals you know the natural way to do it and why why is that healthy why is that good for you the environment everything you know cooking the math that's involved with that the science that's co goes into baking the you know artist type you know the creativity the artistic creativity part of cooking you know baking is more of a science cooking is more of creativity you know and you learn so much though you have to follow directions you have to read a recipe you have to gather all your stuff you have to measure you have to you know be mindful about safety I mean it's just there's so much that you can do every single day and it doesn't have to be this drill set or worksheets and your child is learning so just have faith mamas and daddies that are all wanting to embrace homeschooling that your child will learn as long as you're being purposeful you know you can't just sit there and expect it to fall in place for it seeds for sorry you have to engage them. You have to ask them meaningful questions, mindful, deep thinking questions along the way with what they're interested in. And that helps them have a deeper understanding of the world around them and you will succeed.